gyroscope. We can clearly see how unstable this one is, it's revolving along the axis of rotor. This one is are much more stable because of the gyro stabilization. As you can see this is a non-rotating wheel, here only the two forces acting is gravity and the tension on the string attached to it. When I let go of the wheel the gravitational force fall on the wheel making the wheel incline and fall on the side. Now let's see what happens for a rotating wheel. What do you think will happen when we let it go? Amazing, what it is not falling, why it's still rotating upright, but you can notice it revolving. This is called gyroscopic precession. The wheel keeps on losing its angular momentum and the angle at which it's inclining keeps on increasing and eventually it lies parallel to ground. When the wheel and its axis are stationary, they will fall to the table surface. When the wheel spins, it and its axis float in the air while moving in a circle about the pivot. This surprising, non-intuitive motion of the axis is called precession. To study this strange phenomenon of precession, we must remember that angular velocity, angular momentum, and torque are all vector quantities. In particular, we need the general relationship between the net torque T that acts on a body and the rate of change of the body's angular momentum L. When the flywheel is not rotating, its weight creates a torque around the pivot, causing it to fall along a circular path until its axis rests on the table surface. In falling, the flywheel rotates about the pivot and thus acquires an angular momentum L. The direction of L stays constant. The flywheel acquires an angular momentum L in the same direction as torque T, and the flywheel axis falls. When the flywheel is rotating, the system starts with an angular momentum L parallel to the flywheel's axis of rotation. Because the initial angular momentum is not zero, each change dL equals T dt in angular momentum is perpendicular to L as a result. The magnitude of L remains the same but its direction changes continuously. Now the effect of the torque is to cause the angular momentum to precess around the pivot. The gyroscope circles around its pivot without falling. The gyroscope has angular momentum L a short time interval dt later, the angular momentum is L s and dL, the infinitesimal change in angular momentum is dL equals t dt, which is perpendicular to L. This means that the flywheel axis of the gyroscope has turned through a small angle d phi given by the ratio of dL and L. The rate at which axis moves is called precession angular speed and denoted by capital omega. What will happen when we have a wheel of bigger mass? As the wheel is massive its moment of inertia is greater, so we will have the precession angels smaller and the precession will decay over a longer time. Here we are standing on a rotating frictionless stand and as we are holding a flywheel which after rotating has an angular momentum L, in the direction normal to the flywheel. As we change the direction of angular momentum we get a reaction force by the gyroscope which rotated the body. This is the consequences of law of conservation of momentum. This is the prototype of a bike having a gyroscope, because of the gyroscopic effects the bike can be balanced. This is a rack of four gyroscopes and part of the hardware and equipment filling the space station processing facility. Also gyroscope is used in airplane and mobile submarines and also in Hubble. 